Hey guys, what's up? It's Pico here again. Today I show you a basic keylogger that I programmed and I will show you how you can do your own basic keylogger. And yeah, so let's go on and start the tool. And so here we have the start keylogging and the save keylog. And um, this function is hide and start the keylogging. But uh, this I don't explain today. I will just explain you the start key logging and the save key log. So, how I will demonstrate you this, um, we can start start key logging and I will create a folder and now I will type um, my name is Pico. So inside this folder I will generate a text And inside here, I will write Hello guys, how are you? I don't want to save this. Don't save, I typed it inside so you can see. And now I will save the keylog. And right here I get a new text file. I will double click it and right here you can see all the letters I typed and how um, what I pressed as if I, I pressed capital or not capital and yeah this is the basic thing what I want to show you today so let's go on first open um, open your Visual Studio and create a new project windows forms apps dot net framework we need this and we will call this keylog okay go on one moment right here sometimes open on the wrong side so I want to show you how to do this. You need one button. I hope you you don't dislike me for this one, <laughs> but I can't do better right now. And yeah, so we need button one and button two. We do it like this. Button one is for start keylog. Start keylog. And the second button is for save our keylog file to, to a text. Save keylog. So that's it. That's all we need. Right here we will make one picture box. <laughs> Just for the aesthetics. And I will show you how easy it's really to use to make a keylogger. And if you want you can improve it and even make it stealth. In the end of the video I will show you the stealth version that I made. So this one. Awesome. Right now we can uh, start on button 1, let's start keylogging. And then we can also start a click one time on save keylog. So right now we have both buttons. Okay, so first you have to write some code. The first part is this. You can pause the video right here and just type it in like I did. And the second part are two functions. So at this point uh, we need um, a function for hook callback and I did it like this. You can just type this out. And the other function is set hook. 
this is for setting our hook and you can type this as well out like this. If you have this we can go on, we can close this region and now we can go on the button. If we click here we need to call our functions. So Projector passed. Okay, awesome. That's it for the button. So right now we can click on save keylog. So button two you can just type it out like this. You just can start the tool. So here's the tool. And uh, at the moment if we start keylogging it will save our keylog to our folder right here. Right here it will save. So let's start keylogging. Search for pico is my name. We also type this here. You can see it. Then we can type Google is my friend. And here is my password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And when we click here, save keylog, it will create a text file named keylog. And here, pico space is my name, google space is my friend, and space here is my password password one two three four five six seven you know how how this works it's just a basic keylogger and if you want you can improve it like i did one moment i will show you and yes this is the advanced one and if I hide it like here, the tool is gone away. And now I can type here, Google is my friend also, but Pico is cooler. This don't have any thing to do, but if you go now, you don't see it in this folder, but also not on desktop. If you go on this PC and we go see, we have here the keylog text. And yeah, Google is my friend also, but Pico is cooler. You see, you can really do a lot of this. Right now I should have to close this tool, my manager, with task manager because um, so you can't close it else. <laughs> so one moment, I <laughs> have to find it. It's really hard to find it sometimes. And yeah, one moment. <laughs> so easy keylogger. Oh no, that's not how I saved it. It's Windows Protector. It's really hard for me to find it, you know. <laughs> sometimes Windows Protector right here and it's still running and I have to end it manually. So at this point, thanks for watching and yeah, have a nice day. Bye bye, see you next time.